Yeah, I'm from Michigan State University. Um, I work in campus planning and administration. And we have a little group of about four people that works in campus GIS. And we get the task of making maps for um, a lot of different purposes. Um, things like crime mapping, mapping some of the utilities, just-in-time reporting. And the most recent thing that we got the task of doing was creating a map for environmental stewardship. So I'm going to present our uh, latest API that we're, we're use, actually using the uh, ESRI ArcGIS API uh, with Flex. And before I started using Flex, I was actually using a Google Web Toolkit and trying to actually create my own API, which was a little bit difficult. And we found it was much easier to use the, uh, the ESRI Flex API. Um, one of the important things is uh, you can see that we have about three different views here. On the left, we have a legend. And then we also have the main map view. On the bottom, we have a table and a chart. And the reason that we broke it up this way is one of the initiatives at MSU is to try to make all our maps accessible. And somebody who's coming to this site might have a visual impairment or might be blind. And because of that, they might not necessarily be able to see the map. And by having the table on the bottom left, this allows them to actually go through the data even if they can't see it visually. And actually talking to somebody who had, was blind said that this is a great tool because if somebody is sighted and working next to this individual, they can say, well, let me show you what I'm finding here in the data, and that will actually show up on the map. And let me show you how that works. If you um, click on any of these rows in the table, it will highlight that building on the map. And the same is true for the chart. So if we look, uh, this is actually showing energy consumption on campus by building. So if you look, you can see way over here on the right, of this chart is a cyclotron. Now obviously the cyclotron is using the most electricity. So you can select that and you can see where it is on the building. So say you want to see, okay, where it's the, the kind of the, the meat here of energy consumption, you can just select those points and those will be highlighted on the map. And by doing that too, you can come up here and click on this PDF button and you can actually generate a report for all those buildings and energy consumption. And what happens is those reports are sent off to environmental stewards for each building, and they can post them in dorms or buildings or whatever so people know what's happening in that building. Um, some of the other things that we have in here, too, is the ability, obviously, you know, it's easy with flex. It's just to sort by square footage. So say we wanted to sort by square footage. Let's look at the buildings that have the most square footage. And then if we go ahead and clear the buildings that are currently highlighted, what will happen is if we just go and select say these top six or seven buildings, now we can see where those are located on the campus. Um, some of the other tools that we have built in here is the ability to do um, theming by color for the Coral Pleth map. And as you've probably seen these, as you look familiar, these are from the Color Brewer. So we have all these built-in color schemes. You can quickly just hit that, hit OK, and it'll apply that color scheme to the map. Um, another tool that we have is the ability to actually uh, set your own classification schemes. And this is similar to ArcGIS Desktop, where you can go in, you can change it to, say, a quantile. And it'll show you how many are in that class for each one of those schemes. And then you can also go through and manually create your own. Um, another feature that we have is the ability to animate the map. So say that we're just looking right now, we're looking at, looking at fiscal year 08, 09. If we hit this play button, It'll bring up a part, and this will actually do is go and look, okay, you've been going through the data, you've been looking at different years, what years haven't you downloaded the data for? And it'll go through and it'll actually download those, those specific years. And then if you just hit play, it'll actually animate from year to year. So you can look at the map that way. Um, we also have uh, the similar thing, and the way this is set up is you can see there's different layers. Now, because we're going to be doing other things on campus with a similar type of interface, you can load in specific layers. So you can see here we have waste reduction. Um, this is mixed office paper by building, and then we have like newspapers. So you just select the ones you want. And then refuse is obviously red because that's, we don't want people generating waste for the building. We want them to be recycling. So we gave that a different color. And then another ability that we have is to go and actually print the map or export the map so you can simply just do a view of the map. You can come down here. You can click on generate a PDF and hit save. And that will actually save it to the desktop. All right. That's it. All right. Thank you.